on me. Don't drive me crazy with these things. Don't. Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel for another flipping banger. As you can see by the title. Okay, well, why is this trying my hand? But um court in session, okay? So as you can see by the title, I'm going to be reacting to a body language expert on their opinion about Amber's testimony. And before we get into it, don't forget to click the subscribe button, like, comment, do all that good stuff. Drop some bananas before you even watch the video. And go get your snacks. Okay, go get your snacks because this could be a long one. It could be pretty long. 10 minutes, I know our attention spans are not. Okay, it could be a long one. Just get your snacks. I've got my water <laughs> and my straw. And yeah, I'm going to drink my water while we watch. And let's get into it. In the second day of Amber Heard's testimony on the Johnny Depp's defamation lawsuit, her body language is still the main channel to expose what she's really up to. Especially okay. with some very um, strange details involving her No, You guys, that scene right there, a lot of people are saying like she's sniffing something, but y'all are reaching a little too much, okay? Y'all, she could be having a runny nose. Maybe she was crying. Like, I don't know. It's freaking allergy season. So that you're about to find out. Welcome back, my body language buddies. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the body language guy. And it would be great if you join us by just liking this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Let's get down to it. One important thing to consider is that Amber must have talked to her lawyers about what happened on day one of her testimony to adjust her strategy for today. And one of the differences can be seen in the following clip. Try to keep track of her blinking and her facial muscles. And I thought he looked so handsome. And he seemed happy. Okay, you guys, one thing about this that I want to say before we even get too much into the video is the fact that... Amber, why are you blinking that much? Like, it's like Amber is here to give a show. It's like Amber is here for story time, okay? She's here to give us a story time that we didn't ask for. But let's keep going. And I... Compared to day one, her emotional expression changed. Now her head is much more controlled and she's got all this happening on her face. Rapid. And her hair is up, not down this time. This time she's not trying to hide. This time she's trying to be seen. And all sorts of contractions on her face muscles. Keep in mind this because sometimes a person could be exaggerating their facial expressions to make sure that if any real emotion slips, it gets lost in all that noise. Because yes, regardless of Amber's qualifications as an actress, she must be aware of how to use her face and body to convey emotions. That's a possibility. So it wouldn't be surprising that since she's exposing the actual aggressions, she could be making sure to emphasize the story the right way. And that's why I want you to watch the following clip. I'm so sorry to do that. I'm so sorry. Amber is so dramatic. Amber, just get on with it. She's recalling the incident of what Johnny supposedly did to her with a bottle, and she wants to convey the stress. We don't know if she's got Botox, that's a possibility, but what's relevant is how her general expression has changed since yesterday. And we still don't get that full emotional contraction of the muscles of her face, even in such critical statements. Let's talk about that handkerchief or whatever was happening at the moment of this clip. When she might have been crying, even if nobody could see her tears, and she decided to, you know, have a little retouching of her nose. You can imagine that she's not going to blow her nose in public. That will be a gross, to say the least. So maybe she just wanted to fix a runny nose. But then, why does it look like she's inhaling when she has the handkerchief on her nose? What I said before we even got to this part. Y'all know I react to these without watching them. What I said. I mean, doesn't that make inhaling more difficult? There was no shortage of jokes about any possible substances, such as, you know, 
baby powder. But I think she was just using that handkerchief to not only just clean her nose, but also as an excuse to evade eye contact. Yeah, we sometimes see what we want to see, just like whatever Johnny's lawyer is doing here to express his opinion. But it's hilarious. Actual domestic violence victims have come forward to have an opinion on their perception of Amber's testimony. Because you just can't help but feel that she's making things up on the fly, as you can see in the following clip. Um, he holds up this bottle to me, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm saying, did, did you drink this whole thing? Something stupid. Focusing on this detail. I understand that someone can be nervous in these situations, but you can't help but notice that every time Amber needs to outline a specific situation, she begins to stutter. She doesn't give precise details and even mix up who had the bottle on their hand. Because it's confusing about who was holding the bottle. Was it Johnny or was it her? And that seriously hurts her credibility and casts doubts about she telling the truth. So maybe... I think that Amber's credibility is already done. It would take a very big turning point in this case for people to start to believe what Amber is saying. Tell me if I'm not alone in this because it seems like nobody's on Amber's side. Like on my TikTok, at least a lot of people were on her side at first, but the tides turn pretty quickly. Tides turn pretty quickly. Miss this, the first time you saw it, because you were focused on Amber's body language. But let's watch the last clip again and try to picture the scene in your mind. Um, he holds up this bottle to me, um, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, did, did you drink this whole thing? Something stupid. Uh, focusing on this detail. You realize that she said that Johnny had a bottle on his hand and she uses a hand gesture to describe with body language how he was holding it. That's okay. But then in her recollection, in her mind's eye, she switches to herself. But she refers to the bottle as if it's still on her hand. Did you drink this whole thing? She realizes this and tries to correct the blunder and that's why she does that gesture of, oh well, whatever. In fact, that's how body language works. That one is kind of true. I agree with this point, although just to play devil's advocate, I'm gonna defer. Just for the purpose of devil's advocacy, okay? Could it be that the reason why she said, you know, were you holding this thing and like, she, that's just how she expresses herself or like that's how she talks or is she just n narrating or asking did you drink this whole thing like for example maybe he's holding it right imagine me holding this and i'm and you're like did you drink this whole thing i don't know like that could be that that could be different it could most of the time, it's not a single gesture that is going to smash a person's credibility, but a series of inconsistencies between what they say and what they express with their bodies. Exactly. Of course, sometimes you just can't help but wonder, why do you have such... After you finish watching this video, I need you to go watch my Amber Caught Lying in Court video. I'll probably put it as a card at the end because, okay, we're going to spill some tea there. We're going to spill some tea and you don't want to miss it bad vibes from certain facial expressions even if they are just a picture just like this shot where amber has all the gone girl that shit crazy boxes checked and sometimes we can make funny faces if we are speaking a we guys that picture's edited that picture's edited i've seen that picture and it's edited that's not the, what the original picture looks like i've seen a lot of people edit her um pictures actually so it's an edited picture picture taken out of the blue. In fact, that's basically my whole thumbnail strategy. But it's a bit different when you see a picture and you see the muscles of the face relaxed. That gives you a hint that the person was distracted, maybe in some introspection, and show an authentic expression at that moment. Even so, I have my reservations using photos for analysis, but keep that in mind. I cannot stress enough how you need to be mindful of your own perception, just as this other moment where it looks like Amber was posing for a non-existent camera.
because it totally looks like she doesn't move and there it goes what looks like a camera flash. But there were no flash cameras in the courtroom. It was just a sudden change in whatever she had in her monitor right in front of her. But there's this other clip where she's desperate to make it seem like she's crying. Let's see what can you make of it. Uh, you guys, as much as I don't like Amber, I can't help but feel like we're being absolutely hard on her and we do not know, like, I'm, I touched on this in a different video that I talked about. It's not edited yet, so we are being so hard on Amber on things that could potentially just be Amber, okay? Like he said, this situation could be extremely nerve-wracking for all the parties involved. Number two, we gotta remember that both these people are actors, so they would both be very good at manipulating public perception and not just Amber, not just Amber. And when it comes to this, you can't be like she's posing for a picture. Like, do you guys not sneeze sometimes? Do you not like hold it there because it's like leaking? Like, yo, don't drive me crazy with these things. Don't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Amber's crying is hilarious. So, like, who cries like? But Amber, like, I feel like if you're crying, you'll be like, like it. It would just be natural. Like the, it would just be free flowing tears, like free flowing sadness. Not like, like. <laughs> but you guys, another side besides me just being hilarious right now. Another side of this could be like, we cannot dictate how people express themselves, okay? We all express ourselves in very many different ways and we cannot decide what Amber should express herself as. Maybe that's how she expresses herself, who knows? We don't know her. I can breathe. <laughs> yeah, that's uncomfortable to watch because she looks like she's trying too hard. She's trying to connect with her face, but you feel like you're the one. But you don't know she could be having a panic attack. Oh, I know I made fun of her a little bit, but literally that's me having a panic attack. That's literally how it goes. It's like, <laughs> I, I, that's literally how it goes. So she could have been having like a baby panic attack. I don't know. But again, I'm here to play devil's advocate today. In the effort. Now, there is that clip where Amber apparently is scared of Johnny. <laughs> um, okay, it's being really hard to play devil's advocate, and I'm going to tell you why. Amber, you are not scared of Johnny, okay? Amber is not scared of Johnny because this is the same Amber that was so scared for her life that she thought it is awesome to record Johnny going off and hitting covers. Now, let me tell you guys something. If you are scared of somebody and they start being extremely, you know, acting out, what would you do? You're scared of them. You would run or you would freeze. Amber, while he was slamming shit, I'll probably put this in a video somewhere. While he was slamming shit, Amber's recording and like, she's calm. She's like, but Johnny, why are you, why are you so upset, Johnny? Why are you upset? I'm sorry, but like, if you were scared for your life, the second he starts sh beating the covers and kicking stuff, if he's violent to you, you are going to run or you are going to freeze. And your voice would be shaking. Not Johnny. God. She's not scared of Johnny. She's not. This is something that I have to say. This is when you realize that Amber is a very bad actress because part of the job is doing some research about how people react emotionally in certain situations. And when a person has been abused and to the extent that she claims for herself, you don't lose track of your abuser. You learn to have your guard up at all times because that's one of the things that you do to survive, plain and simple. So she being startled because she suddenly ran into Johnny, I don't know, Rick, looks fake. Now, there are these claims that Amber stole a line of dialogue from the movie The Talented Mr. Ripley for yesterday's testimony. 
Well, this quote is fake. Amber never said those words, and I know because I checked twice. But then I began to wonder, why did someone make this claim and how did it go so viral? I immediately think about public relations stunts. Now, you might be asking, why would Amber be interested in this fake quote being spread? Well, it's no wonder that the hashtag Amber Heard is a liar has been trending. And a classic PR stunt to combat this kind of situations is that you plant a lesser bad offense in the public opinion. In this case, that Amber copied a movie script word for word. It goes viral, can be easily disproven, and it becomes proof that whatever people are sharing on the internet about her could also be fake. But at least we've got battle language to set the record straight. You can help me spot more clips. Okay, guys. We are done with the video. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have much to say at the end of this video besides drop some grapes. Okay, if you got to this point of the video, drop some grapes. Let me know your thoughts. Like, I was the devil's advocate today. Like, I let y'all know how this could be incorrect. Amber could just be ambering. Okay, she could just be ambering and we could just be reading into things too much. A lot of the times, body language, you're reading into things. Th that's literally it. You're reading into things. Okay, so... But I will say that, <laughs> are you choking? I can't breathe, Amber. Like, I, uh, Amber, I tried to defend you, Amber. I tried my best. But it, the Amber was not Ambering, so we are Johnny Depping, <laughs> okay? Anyways, you guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and click on my channel and go watch another video because I have a series of these videos you can binge watch a lot because this is where all my time goes now and I'll see you in my next video bye